today we're going to start our long division part of the unit and we're specifically going to be looking at long division with zero in the quotient. So before that we want to look at some key vocabulary terms. Um, so the dividend is the number being divided. So if you look over here, the 24 is the number that we're actually dividing. The divisor is the number that the dividend is being divided by. So 24 is being divided by 4. And the quotient is the answer to a division problem. So 6 is our answer. It's kind of a fancy way of saying answer. Today we are looking at dividing with 0 in the quotient. I want you to highlight the word 0 because that should be a clue. No matter what, your answer should have a 0 in it. So for example, I might have 508. I might have 720. Or I might have 3001. There's zeros in all of those answers. So if you get an answer without a zero, you need to go back and look at your work because you did something wrong. So sometimes during long division, when you get to step one, the number will go to in zero times. In this case, you put a zero in the quotient. It doesn't mean, oh, it goes in zero times. It doesn't matter. It has to go in the quotient there. And then continue on with your steps. So let's look at the steps. We're using a mnemonic device to help you remember. So does McDonald's sell burgers? So the D for does is step one, the M for McDonald's is step two, the S from sell is step three, and the B from burgers is bring down. So I'm highlighting it here in our mnemonic device, and I'm gonna highlight it in our steps. I'm highlighting the D, the M, the S, the B. And I'm gonna do it down here too. So D stands for divide, M stands for multiply, S stands for subtract, B stands for bring down. So let's look at this in action. Step, or problem one, 2,754 divided by 9. The first thing I want you to do, maybe you have your multiplication facts of 9 memorized, but I still want you to write down the first nine multiples of nine, because the more you get in that habit, the easier it's going to be, and you're not going to make any mistakes. So use your multiplication chart. I'm just going through here and listing the first nine. And I'm going to put it on the side here. So nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81. Okay. Now, let's set up our division problem. We've got 9, and we're dividing 2,754 by 9. So first step is to actually divide. Does 2 divide by 9? Looking on your multiplication chart. Does 9 go into 2? Nope, it does not. So I'm going to put an X above the 2, and now we're actually going to use the two-digit number of 27. Does 27 divide by 9? Does 9 go into 27? Well, let's look. Yep. 9, 18, 27. 9 goes into 27 three times. So we put our 3 up in our quotient, and now we go to step 2, which is to multiply. 9 times 3 is 27. Step 3 is to subtract. 27 minus 27 is 0. And step 4 is to bring down. So we're going to bring down the 5. Now we start our steps all over again. Does 9 go into 5? We're dividing. 5 divided by 9. Does 9 go into it? If you look at your chart, nope. The first multiple is 9. That's too big. So when it doesn't go into it, now we don't put an x. That was only for the beginning. We say that it goes in 0 times. So you put 0 in your quotient. Step two is to multiply. Nine times zero is zero. Step three is to subtract. Five minus zero is five. And step four is to bring down. So now we've got 54 divided by nine. So how many times does nine go into 54? Let's look at our multiplication chart. It goes in six times. If we look over here, it goes in one, two, three, four, five, six times. Now we multiply. Nine times six gave us 54. 
Next step is to subtract. 54 minus 54 is 0. We've got a remainder of 0. We don't have anything to bring down. That means that our final answer is 306. If you want to check your answer on your calculator, you could do 306 times 9. It should bring you back to your original, an original number of 2,754. Let's do one more together. Now we've got a bigger number that we're dividing by. We've got 19 is what we're, our divisor is. What we're dividing is 1,000 or 17,138. So again, first step that I want you to do is to use your multiplication chart to list out the first nine multiples. Because I don't know about you, but I don't have my multiples of 19 memorized. So I'm going to write on the side here, using my chart, 19, 38, 57, 76, 95, 114, 133, 152, 171, 190... Nope, don't need that, that's too big. So we have our first nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we can start dividing. I've already listed the multiples, so I don't really actually need to use my multiplication chart right now. So does 19 go into one? Nope, one is too small. I'm gonna put an X up there. Now let's look at our two digit number. Does 19 go into 17? Again, 17 is too small. I'm gonna put an X there. So now we have this three-digit number that's a little bit more difficult, 171. But since we've got our multiples over here, it should be pretty easy to look at. So how many times does 19 go into 171? So 19 is smaller, 38 is smaller, 57 is smaller, 76 is smaller, 95 is smaller, 114 is smaller, 133, 152, 171. It goes in exactly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times. So we put our 9 in our quotient, step two is to multiply. 19 times nine, we just saw that, is 171. Step three is to subtract. 171 minus 171 is zero. Step four is to bring down, bring down the three. Okay, starting all over again. Three divided by nine, does, or by 19, does 19 go into three? Nope. So we don't put an X, we put a zero. It goes in zero times. 19 times zero is zero. Step three is to subtract. Three minus zero is three. Step four is to bring down, bring down the eight. All right, now we're going back to step one. 38 divided by 19, how many times does it go into 38? Goes in once, two times exactly. So we put two in our quotient. Multiply, 19 times 2 is 38. Step 3 is to subtract. 38 minus 38 is 0. We have a remainder of 0. We have nothing to bring down. So that tells us that our quotient, our answer, is 902. Go ahead and do the U-try on your own.